Hello, Fiber friends, and welcome. This is the Jillian Eve channel. I'm Evie, I spin yarn, and that is exactly what we're going to do today. So I've had these braids in the background of a lot of my recent videos. They have just been waiting for me. And finally, I was like, all right, fine. I'll start another project because, I mean, you can always have one more project, right? <laughs> I have these two braids. They are from Wild Hair. They are Falklands wool, and both of them are, I believe. Yep, but I love how rich and saturated these purples, blues, and greens are. These are my colors, right? And I love these teals and how they kind of fade into this brown and gray. Finally, on this channel, we are going to do a fractal spin, but not just a fractal. We're gonna tear these braids up and make a gradient fractal. And I am so excited for this spin. All right, so let's look at these two braids and how they are to begin with, with their colors. There they are. And what I would like to do here is divide them out so that we insert this teal in between this teal and this green. And then once we come to this green, we're going to fade from this green, which has a lot of blue in it, over into this green, which has a lot of yellow in it, and then come into the orange. So we're just going to maybe remove the gray and pick up about here, and then insert this here. <laughs> That's the plan. That's how we're going to move from one uh, color into the other to make it a gradient that fades all the way down to here. And then once we get into this color, I think this is where maybe I'll replace the end with the gray, or maybe I'll just put the gray in a floof box for some other future projects. Maybe we don't even need the gray. Um, so that's my plan. So I'm going to take these apart and rearrange the colors. So let's find the colors that we want to rearrange. This piece right here has the lighter teal and the gray, and I am going to separate that as this teal gets a little more blue and a little less gray. Um, I'm gonna just split that right there. I'm going to put this in my floof box. I am sure it will get used. No worries there. This is where the teal is very blue and then it comes into this blue green and I want to insert this in here. So I'm going to break off this green piece. That's pretty good. And I want this green piece to come out of this part where the blues are and we're gonna put it in here where it starts to come into this and move into where it becomes more yellow. So let's break off right here. And that is where it will be inserted. So if I, if I scrunch this up a little bit, I think it'll be easier to see how we have this gradient laid out now. There it is. Now, what are we thinking of this end, this very greenish end here? You know what? I don't like this end. <laughs> I'm gonna take this, this color off. I like it coming into the brown. Oop. There, I like it better without this color on the end. I just do. So I'm gonna put this in my floof basket too. Okay, <laughs> now we have it. There it is. And I like this gradient very much. I like how it shifts across these colors. I think it's beautiful. And I think all of these colors, when they line up with each other throughout the fractal, I think they're gonna look beautiful together. So now we need to prep the fractal. And how is that gonna work? We are going to split all of it in half, all the way down the whole thing. 
That means that one entire gradient from purple to brown is going to go on one bobbin. I chained up this gradient. This is half right here of the whole project. This is going to get spun onto one bobbin and I'm gonna start at one end and go straight through to the other end. No other changes are needed. Now, the other half, we are going to split this again because it's going to make a shorter section of the color. So now you can see that's gonna be one bobbin up there this is going to be the second bobbin, but this is going to repeat the same colors twice. So when they ply, they are going to have one ply go through the entire gradient, but the other ply is going to repeat the gradient. And so the colors will sometimes line up and sometimes not line up. And it's going to have a very cool effect on the final fabric of being self-striping in a really cool way. If you wanted to, you could leave this one as the half and you could take this and strip it down even further to have another narrow repeat. You could keep going until you only have one piece of fiber of each color. <laughs> uh, that would be down to the very building blocks of it. But I think this is gonna work for me. I'm being careful to keep the sections that I pulled out and separated to make sure that they stay in the right order. So here it is, my gradient fractal. I have half of all the colors for one ply, start to finish, and then I have the other one, essentially it's quartered from what was the whole because I took a half and split that one more time. So I'll go through the whole color fade once and then twice. Finally, I'm gonna apply it all together. So now it's time to get spinning. I'm going to use my new Ashford E-Spinner 3 for this project and throw in a few fun time lapses. Let's get spinning. Both of the bobbins are all spun up and I'm ready to ply this yarn. It was so much fun watching the gradient colors build up on each bobbin. And it was really interesting to see how the first bobbin, because I went through the colors twice, um, it, was, it was neat to see how much space each color was taking up on the bobbin. And then the second one, which was the straight colorway without the repeat, um, it took a lot more space for each color to fill up, so it wasn't quite as satisfying to look at the poppin. <laughs> I couldn't see all the colors before. It was like a lot of uh, the same color back and forth as I built it up. But um, anyway, I'm, I'm really happy with how they came out. I think both singles are very consistent and similar to each other in terms of the twist. So far, I'm really happy with it, so I'm excited to see how this plies up. So let's get plying. Look at how it's starting to shift into the blue. The first strand is still purple, but the second one is now shifting into the blue color, and this just looks so pretty. And here are the bobbins right at the halfway mark. Um, so they don't look exactly even at this moment, but based on the colors, I, I think it's gonna come out just fine. I think we'll be okay. I am so excited right now. I'm almost done plying, and it's coming out so close. I'm not even sure I'll have a whole yard left. Well, maybe. I can't jinx it. 
Okay, we have to finish plying and see. Okay, there's the leader. <gasps> there's the leader! There's the leader! Can you see this in the camera? It's right, it's right here. Look, look, look. Okay. Oh, my dog got excited. She just showed up like, what's going on? Okay, look, here's the leader on this one. And then here's the leader on the other one. Here's a better picture of it. That's where the one ended. That's where the other one ended. That's how close they were. Amazing. Here is the bobbin so far. I'm so pleased with this. The twist angle just looks so consistent across all of it. So, um, yes, I'm going to put this on a nitty naughty and we're going to check it out with all the colors visible. It's going to be beautiful. I couldn't be, I could not be more pleased with this yarn. It, it's just amazing. Look at this. Look at this yarn. So I do still need to wash it. It is just a little, it has a little energy in it, but it's just exactly how I like it. Oh my goodness, the gradient came out amazing. The, the, the way that the fractal came together, amazing. How it finished both bobbins at the same time. <laughs> There's nothing about this that is not amazing. And I think I spun one of my own hairs in there for good measure. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting better about writing down details. So here's what we have for this yarn. It is Falklands wool. It is seven ounces. I had two braids. They were each four ounces, but I took some of the colors out of those two braids. So it came down to about seven ounces, about 200 grams. It is a two ply. It is 462 yards with a 30 degree twist, 11 wraps per inch, which puts it about a worsted weight yarn. <sighs> and it's perfection. <laughs> I'm just so happy with this. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see close-up pictures of this yarn for like the weeks to come because I just want to take all the pictures of this. What kind of project should I put this in? What do you think? Give me your ideas. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed to see my upcoming experiments and more uh, delves into history and historical spinning as well. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.